In this lesson, we'll solve the equation secant theta equals two divided by square root of three, and secant theta equals negative square root of two on the given interval without a calculator. So because we'll be solving these equations without a calculator, we'll cover how to solve them using the unit circle, as well as how to use reference triangles. So for the first equation, secant theta equals two divided by square root of three, to use a unit circle, it'll be helpful to recognize that secant theta is reciprocal of cosine theta as long as x doesn't equal zero. Notice when x equals zero, secant theta is undefined because we have division by zero, and when x is zero, cosine theta would be zero. But if secant theta equals two divided by square root of three, then cosine theta equals a reciprocal, which should be square root of three divided by two. Now before we look at the unit circle though, let's determine which quadrants the cosine function and the secant function are positive. Since secant theta equals r divided by x and cosine theta equals x divided by r, secant and cosine are positive in the quadrants where x is positive. So our functions would be positive in the first quadrant where both x and y are positive, as well as in the fourth quadrant where x is positive and y is negative. So now to solve this using the unit circle, since on the unit circle x equals cosine theta, we'll look for x coordinates of square root three divided by two in the first and fourth quadrants. So notice here we have an x coordinate of square root three divided by two as well as here, which means cosine pi over six and cosine 11 pi over six equals square root three divided by two and also secant pi over six and secant 11 pi over six equals two divided by square root of three. So these two angles are the solutions over the given interval. So again, we have theta equals pi over six or theta equals 11 pi over six. Now let's also solve this using reference triangles. Whenever we have trig function values that involve one, two, square root of two and square root of three, this should remind us of our reference triangles. Looking at the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle, notice we focus on pi over six radians here. The secant of pi over six, which equals the ratio of the hypotenuse to the adjacent side, would be two divided by square root three, and the cosine of pi over six is the reciprocal of square root three divided by two. Which means if we sketch a reference angle which measures pi over six radians or 30 degrees in the first and fourth quadrants, we can also find our solutions. So we'd have a reference angle here of pi over six radians or 30 degrees as well as here. And let's also sketch our reference triangles and label the sides. The short leg would be one, hypotenuse two, the longer leg square root three. But in the fourth quadrant, the y coordinate is negative, so this would be negative one. But notice for both reference triangles, the secant function value is two divided by square root three, and the cosine function value is square root three divided by two. So one solution is here in the first quadrant, pi over six, and our second solution here would be two pi radians minus the reference angle of pi over six radians. So two pi over one minus pi over six, common denominator of six. So we have 12 pi over six minus one pi over six for 11 pi over six radians. So of course we get the same solutions using reference triangles. Let's take a look at our second example. Here we have secant theta equals negative square root two, which I'm gonna write as secant theta equals negative square root two over one. And again, since cosine is the reciprocal of secant, we could also write this as cosine theta equals negative one divided by square root two. And we should recognize that secant and cosine are negative when x is negative. So our angles must terminate in the second quadrant where x is negative and y is positive, or in the third quadrant 
where x is negative and y is negative. And again, on the unit circle, since x equals cosine theta, we'll try to find an x-coordinate of negative one divided by square root two in the second and third quadrants. But before we do this, let's express negative one divided by square root two in a different form by rationalizing the denominator. So negative one divided by square root two, if we multiply by square root two over square root two, this would be negative square root two divided by two. This is probably the value that we'll find on the unit circle. So this is also equal to negative square root two divided by two. So on the unit circle, notice how here we have an x-coordinate of negative square root two divided by two, as well as here. Which means cosine three pi over four and cosine five pi over four equals negative square root two divided by two, which also means secant three pi over four and secant five pi over four equals negative square root two over one or just negative square root two. So those are the two solutions over the given interval. And again, let's solve this using our reference triangles. When we do this though, we're going to ignore the sign and we'll find the reference angle that has a secant function value of square root two over one, or just square root two, and a cosine function value of one over square root two. Once we find the reference angle, we'll sketch those in the second and third quadrants to find our solutions. So looking at the 45, 45, 90 reference triangle, focusing on pi over four radians, secant of pi over four is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the adjacent side, which is square root two over one, which equals square root two, and cosine pi over four is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, or one divided by square root two. So again, notice how we have the right values, wrong sign, but that's okay because if we sketch this reference angle in the second and third quadrants, the function values would be negative. So we'll sketch a 45 degree reference angle in the second and third quadrants. So here, pi over four or 45 degrees, as well as here. Now we'll sketch the reference triangles and label the sides. The legs would be one and the hypotenuse would be square root two, but in the third quadrant x is negative, so this would be negative one, and in the fourth quadrant both x and y are negative, so we'd have a negative here as well as here. Notice for both reference triangles, the secant function value, the ratio of the hypotenuse to the adjacent side would be negative square root two over one or just negative square root two, and the cosine function values would be negative one over square root two. So our two solutions, using our reference triangles, we'd have one here and a second solution here. To find the first solution in the second quadrant, we would take pi radians and subtract the reference angle of pi over four radians. So pi radians minus pi over four. Pi is equivalent to four pi over four minus one pi over four, so we have three pi over four. And for our second solution, we'd have pi radians plus pi over four radians. So pi plus pi over four is equivalent to four pi over four plus one pi over four or five pi over four. Of course, we have the same solutions using the reference triangles. So we didn't have to solve both equations two ways, but I think it's important to understand both methods. I hope you found this helpful.